Hi and welcome students. In this Windows 10 video, I'm going to be showing you how to manage your files. Let's get started. So you'll see that I opened up uh, File Explorer here, and I did that by clicking on this icon right down here, the folder icon, and that's going to open up a program called File Explorer. Now I've already made videos on how to create folders and files in Windows 10, and so on this one I'm going to be talking specifically about managing your files. Now uh, managing your files, I'm going to talk about it from a student perspective, since this is how most of my students uh, will be managing their files. And so the first thing that I recommend to students is knowing what's going on over here on this left side area. Okay, and you'll see that basically it's broken down into three or four main categories. Quick access, and what quick access does is it allows you to see all of your most recent files and folders. Okay, so anything that you've used recently, you go to quick access to see that. Right here is OneDrive. I have a video on OneDrive, what that is. Basically, that's the cloud for Microsoft, and what this does is it allows you to uh, more or less um, save something onto the cloud, which is not on your computer's hard drives. So that's going to be on Microsoft's hard drive, or uh, their their storage in this case. And basically, I could access that anywhere from OneDrive.com. Anything that I have that um, I need in multiple places, I save it right here in OneDrive, okay? And then down here, this is this PC. This PC is this computer's hard drive, meaning it's saved right here on this computer. If this computer, uh, you know, breaks down or something like that, or the hard drive is destroyed, then I would lose the files in here. Okay, but this this is for things like that are uh, maybe that I want to save just to this computer only. Okay, and then down here is network. You're only going to use this if you're working for a company in most cases uh, where you have a special server set up um, to save to a certain drives that employees from other offices or other parts of the office can view and edit your files. Okay, and so that's the difference between these four areas right over here. The one that I'm going to talk about is managing your files, and I'm going to use my uh, PC for that. And so if you click on this PC, you're going to see uh, how much space you have actually on your C drive, which is your hard drive. So I have plenty of space to work with. And so when I set up my file structures and when I'm ready to manage or organize my files, you'll see how I kind of do it over here in OneDrive. I set it up by schools that I teach at or schools that I attend, and then I will uh, organize it from there. Now I'm going to show you this from a student perspective in this video. Let's say that I have my documents right here, and I'll double click to go and into that folder. Now, if I'm a student, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to put down the name of my college as a new folder. That way, uh, I know that anything related to school is going to be found in this folder. So I'll go right here and click New Folder, and I can go to type it in now, and I'll just use Santa Ana College as the example here. And so right there, I've went ahead and created this folder, and I'll go into the folder now. Now, some students like to, or uh, once they get to this point, they just save all of their documents in here, and I really don't recommend that. And the reason I don't recommend that is because you're gonna save hundreds of documents throughout your time in school. I recommend splitting it up uh, by semester, okay? So whenever I have a student that just saves all their documents in here, by the end of the semester they end up with like 100, 200 files and they can't ever find what they're looking for. And this is a huge problem with uh, with new students and especially students who are new to using Windows 10. And so what we're going to do is immediately after going into our folder here, we're going to create a subfolder. So that's a folder within a folder. And so I'm going to name this one Fall 2019. Okay, so maybe I have an upcoming class in fall. I know that I want to uh, save my work into there. So I'm going to call it Fall 2019. There we go. Now the first thing that I do, if I if I know that I want to uh, organize this Fall 2019 folder, I'm going to go into that folder, but I don't want to just save all of my classes work into here. One class can have 20, 30, 40, maybe even 100 files. So instead of doing it that way, I'm now going to split up my classes. And so maybe I click on New Folder right here, and maybe I have a Microsoft Word class. So I'll type in Microsoft Word, and I press Enter. Okay, maybe I have a business communications class. So I'm going to fill out all of uh, these courses uh, to match my schedule. Okay, maybe I have a, an art history class. Who knows? Art history. Okay, so I have my classes there, and I'll just add in one more. I'll use Microsoft Excel for another one, and then maybe I'll use Microsoft Outlook. Okay, all right, so there we go. I have all my classes now set up. Now from there, I'm not going to just jump into these classes and start saving my files there either. Again, the key to always knowing where your files are at are by creating these subfolders that it's very, very easy to organize, okay? And so maybe I go into Excel right here, 
And now I'm going to, uh, for all of my assignments, I'm going to go chapter one assignments. Maybe that that's how that class is set up. And I'll just go ahead and create these folders as I'm ready to save to them. And so I'll go through, I'll create all the folders for the class as I save to them. So maybe this week we're in chapter one, I'm going to save everything right in here in chapter one. That way we never have more than one uh, folder with a ton of assignments in it. Um, things start to get lost when you do it that way. So that's how I recommend organizing it for this semester. So then maybe the semester after that, that's going to be spring 2019. I'm going to go right here, back in my Santa Ana College folder, and I'm going to go to spring 2020. Okay, so that's the following semester. And then I would go into this folder and start adding in all of my classes for um, for that semester as well. That way I'm always keeping my work organized. Now this doesn't have to be specific to a student scenario. Um, one thing that I did when I was at work is I would split up all my work into different um, types of um, assignments. So maybe if I had a customer I'd have instead of uh, having you know, the semester here, I'd have a list of customers and then anything related to those customers, maybe this is a customer right here, I would have, you know, maybe a template for that customer, sales sheet, contact sheet, all of these things in different folders within um, that customer folder. So uh, the basic gist of this video is to think about all of the files that you have for school or for work and then set up your folders and subfolders in ways that you can remember so that when you need to access those files you're not scrambling trying to figure out where they are so hopefully this video has helped you out if it has please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel thank you so much for taking the time to watch and have a great rest of your day